What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing another video for my career journey. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a new career opportunity that I'm going to be pursuing. Let's get right into this. So I'm extremely excited because I just got the email today saying that I am selected to take their recruitment process and do all the steps for that. I'm going to be sharing a lot more of that in a second, but before I share what job I'm going to be pursuing, I just want to talk about CBSA for a second because as you guys know, if you see my previous career journey videos, I did state that I wanted to be a CBSA officer and that is still my intention, but right now because of COVID-19, the recruitment opportunities for CBSA are closed until further notice. I've seen this available and I applied to it and I'm happy to say that I got in. So I'm still going to be in the future looking forward to applying and hopefully being selected for CBSA. But for now, I'm going to be taking an approach for this opportunity. So now the reason why I decided to look into new career opportunities Back five months ago, as you guys remember, I was working at a casino for security overnight shift, and I did love the job. However, five months ago, due to COVID-19, our casino was forced to close, meaning I was not working anymore, and it absolutely sucked. I did make a video talking about it, and it's been a really rough five months, but just a week ago, so I've known this for about a week now, we were just told that... The casino is planning on opening soon. Of course, we have to wait for the province and Health Canada and everybody to basically give the green lights. But we've been told that it will be opening and it's likely looking at about another month or two until the casino opens. But it's likely not going to be going back to, for us, a 40-hour work week. It's likely going to be a 32-hour work week and that's for full-timers. Part-timers like myself, we're lucky if we're going to get 16 to 24 hours a week, which is not the greatest. And once I heard that, it's been a very stressful week since I found out. Also, since it's going to be whenever they open it back, it's going to be full-timers that are called first. Since I'm a part-timer and I'm third from the bottom on the seniority list, that means I'm going to be called back last. Meaning, even if it does open in a month or two, it's probably going to be another month or two after that until I were to get called back. So like I said, I've known this for about a week and it's been really stressful and I've had a few bad days. And so I've just been applying to jobs, seeing what's out there, seeing what interests me. There's a few things that I really wanted, some other things that I applied to. And I did have a few job interviews and I looked into a couple of positions and I was offered to have an interview and stuff with these different companies. However, some of them I just had to say, no, it's not for me, sorry, and pass on it. Some of them were just minimum wage jobs, which I'm not really interested in right now. Some of them were really, really far into the city, so it would take me at least an hour and a half to get there on a good day, sometimes two hours if it's really heavy traffic. Going through the city can be in insane plus paying for parking, and it wasn't too much more than minimum wage. So there's a few positions that I had to just basically say, no, thank you, thanks for the opportunity, but I, I just can't take this job right now. So it's been really stressful. However, one of the jobs that I really, really wanted, because not only is the pay rates, but it's something in the field that I really wanted to get into, is what recently emailed me just today. And now what the position is that I have applied to and I am selected for the recruitment process is to become a correctional officer. I've been looking into this for a while. I did apply back in, I think, late 2019 and I was selected for January to take the entrance exam. However, I couldn't afford to lose a shift at the time so I couldn't make and attend the exam back in January. However, everything right now due to COVID-19 is online. So instead of me having to run all over to get the interview done, the exams done, and everything in the recruitment process, I can do everything at home online. So it's way easier for me to get into it, and I'm extremely excited to get the process started. So now what the recruitment process is for the correctional officers, the first thing is obviously what I've already done, and that is applying online, submitting your application. 
The second thing is what I'm currently on. I'm going to be starting this very soon. And that is taking the first test, which I believe is almost like an entrance exam. The third step is another test, which is also going to be online. The fourth thing is going to be an interview. And I've already been told that it's going to be on something like Skype. It's going to be all online, which is way easier for me. It means I don't have to drive somewhere to be able to do the interview. The fifth thing is a background check. But since I work at a casino, I already know my security clearance is pretty high. So I'm not worried about that whatsoever. And the final step is if you're qualified, you're going to be offered the position. And I am definitely going to be keeping you guys in the loop for this recruitment process. But just like CBSA, when it comes to the exams, I'm not going to be answering and saying what questions are going to be on the exam because I'm going to be kicked out, obviously. But I am going to be hopefully giving you guys some tips whenever I do the exams, some tips of what you can expect to take during the exam. So I'm really excited for this opportunity. I can't wait to start. The pay is insane and I'm extremely happy with what the pay is going to be. I'm hoping everything works out. The pay is $27 to $32 an hour, which is incredible. So just to be offered an opportunity to become a correctional officer is something that really excites me and is very interesting and I can't wait to start. And I'm just hoping it all works out. But like I said, even if CBSA opens up in a year or two, I'm still going to be applying to that because that's my end all goal. And I've mentioned that here on my channel. It's just to become a correctional officer right now, given this opportunity is something that I really decided to do, not only because the past five months I have been working because the casino is closed, but it's something that I could really see being a career if CBSA didn't work out. And I've mentioned before about a backup plan. This is something I could see me doing as a backup plan. Now, I still do not know whether this is going to be a full time or part time position. So I'm just going to say it right now. If it is a full time position, unfortunately, even though I like the casino, I'm going to have to quit the job for making this kind of money and have a full time position. I'm just going to be doing this job here, this career. But if it is going to be a part time position, if I'm hired, I'm going to gladly take that part time position. And I will, even if I'm working a couple days a week as a correctional officer, if I'm still able to work at the casino and get a couple hours as the security guard at the casino still, then I'll stay at the casino. But if it's full time, I'm definitely going to have to leave the casino. But I'm really excited and I can't wait to start. I think honestly, I'm going to try to take the exam tomorrow. So expect really soon, maybe within the week or two, me giving tips about the correctional officer exam, at least the first exam. I have until the 19th to finish it, but I'm going to try to finish it early because I'm laid off. I have literally all this time. I have nothing else that I really need to do other than working on my channel. So I have time. I'm able to do this. So I just wanted to keep you guys informed of this new career opportunity that I'm pursuing and letting you guys know some of the details on it. I can't wait to start. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing a little bit more about my career and what I'm working on right now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.